Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick video to show you guys how to use artwork inside of your MAME32. Um, pretty simple. Um, the first thing you want to do is just go grab yourself an art file. Um, and the place that I usually try to go is MAMEworld.net. It's uh, just as it sounds, MAMEworld.net. Click that. Once you get here, it's going to be on the right hand side. Down quite a ways, there's going to be a little section called Art Files. And for the in-game bezels, overlays, and backdrops, that's what you're going to be looking for. And that'll be the first option under Art Files. Click that. And you're going to have a list of uh, all the games that have available artwork on this site. They're going to be in alphabetical order. And um, I believe the particular game that uh, a fellow YouTuber was asking about was um, Asteroids Deluxe. So we're going to try to get this one to work. And like I said, this is very, very simple. Um, you just find the game, go over to the right hand side, click mirror, one of the two mirrors to download, and um, save it in a place where you can use it. I usually just put it right on my desktop so it's easy and fast to get to. And there we have the file right there on the desktop. And the next thing you want to do is inside of your main folder, there's going to be a folder called Artwork. Okay, it's they have, it's in the same folder where you have your ROMs folder and everything else. And it should be inside the same folder that has your main executable. There should be one just titled simply Artwork. Take that zip file as it is. Just paste it right in there. You don't have to extract it or anything. I already have one in there, but we're going to replace it. And uh, there you have it, it's in there just simply zipped. It, it, nothing has been done to it, no way. Then uh, just simply uh, open up your MAME32. And this is currently the latest version, um, version point zero or 0 0.131. So, And then we want to go to Asteroids, which is way back up here at the top. And here's Asteroids Deluxe right here. One of the telltale things too is you need to make sure that the name of the of the artwork file is usually exactly the same as the name of the ROM file. In this case, it'd be the ASTDELUX.zip, and they are both the same. So next, you want to select the ROM that you're wanting to play. Hit Properties, and go up to the Miscellaneous tab, which should be there. And you're going to have these bezels, backdrops, and overlays checked. Make sure they're checked because what that does, that allows it to pop up. Otherwise, it's just going to ignore the artwork files. And then hit OK. Double click the file to open it, and you should have artwork. And there you go. As you can see, you've got the artwork and uh, the game playing over the top of it. And this kind of artwork file is a little bit more complicated because it is a it's a bezel and an overlay all in one or a backdrop. Um, most of them are just um, bezels where they just outline the perimeter of the screen with some artwork to resemble the original arcade cabinet. Um, but that's it. It's it's just that simple. I hope that helps out. Um, a little extra too here. Some of these. Um, Artwork files have more than one option inside of them for you to look at. You bring up your main tab menu, go to video options, and in here you can see like this one has a revision one. You click that and see it makes it the back backdrop a little bit brighter and everything. They also have cocktail artwork to make it resemble a cocktail table, which is pretty cool. Take the tab off so you can see. And um And these are pretty much just what it looked like without the overlays. And you can see where it makes a very good improvement for some of these older games. There you have it. I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.